So we have done segments in the past about bed bugs. Uh, our friends at Bennett Termite and Pest Control call them hitchhikers because bed bugs can latch onto you and you wind up taking them with you wherever you go. Well, we are adding another hitchhiker to that list today. This is the spotted lanternfly. Now, according to the team at the Delaware Department of Agriculture, this is one nasty little booger, one they call a destructive threat to commercial crops. So, what can we do about it? Well, I'd like to introduce you this afternoon to Stephen House, who is an environmental scientist and the coordinator of the Cooperative Agricultural Pest Survey. It's also called CAPS. Thank you so much for joining us this hey, afternoon. Thank you for Looking having me. Looking forward to what you have to tell us. Now, we got a lot to cover mm -hmm. we want to talk about. Why is this thing such a threat? Sure. So the spotted lanternfly uh, right here, yeah. it's an invasive species. So it's not originally from the country of the United States. It's really originally from China. So when these invasive insects come into our country from a different country, there aren't any really natural predators or things to keep them in check. Right. So they tend to just run rampant, um, really explode in their population and cause a lot of damage. So, so this is considered an invasive species. Um, are, are we starting to see this thing in Delaware now? Yeah, so we began finding it uh, really l pretty late last year. In late September and October, we started finding pretty large populations of them. Um, right now, all the insects have died, but they're overwintering as eggs. So these eggs will start hatching out in late April, early May, and then they're very small to begin with, but as the summer goes on, they start growing, um, and by August or September, you'll start seeing that nice uh, winged creature right there. Okay, so you're adding it to the list of hitchhikers. How does this thing hitchhike? Right, so we do call it a hitchhiker because they're very sneaky. They like to get into really, um, really enclosed spaces um, inside of cars or in the beds of trucks. Um, they can even like latch onto a train or something like that and be transported all over the place. And it's not, you know, intentional, you know, it's right. not intentional that people can transport these and spread the population, but it does happen. So it's not necessarily in a wood pile or a, or a haystack, it can be on a vehicle. That's true, yeah, it could be, like I said, they're, they're very sneaky. Um, people have reported them crawling up their pant legs, things like that. Wow. Uh, yeah, so they, they, they do tend to get into lots of, uh, lots of weird lots places. Of places. What kind of damages have you seen? Sure, so they are a big pest of grapes. Uh, they like to feed on the vine, you know, so they never attack people. Right. Um, and they don't really eat the fruit of the crops that they attack, but they suck the juices out of the plant. And that could cause the plant to lose energy. Uh, then the next year they come back, they're weaker than they were before they were attacked. And then they stop producing fruit and things like that. So this is a pretty distinctive looking bug to me. I mean, I, I don't know what you know, but is it possible I might confuse this with something else? Yeah, we get, we've been getting a lot of reports from the public uh, last year, which was really helpful for us finding where they were, uh, you know, pinpointing their location. And a lot of times they get it right. Sometimes though, there are some insects that look very similar to it. Um, there are some sorts of moths that look like it. Now this isn't a moth, even though it kind of has wings like a moth. Right. That could be a little confusing, but it is pretty distinctive and you know, nine times out of 10 people get it right. So if it's attacking my trees or if it's attacking my vines, is there something I can look for to tell, oh, I think there might be a lanternfly in that? Yeah, the biggest thing that you would look for is they produce a lot of this substance called honeydew. So when they suck the sugary juices out of plants, they tend to excrete it right. onto the surrounding uh, plants or even onto the ground. Um, so it's like a sh it's like sugar water, you know? It's very, it'll be like kind of shiny, yeah. um, a little sticky, and eventually um, over the next few days or so, it'll start to mold. So if you see on your tree or, you know, if you have grapevines in your yard or things like that, and you see a lot of like mold growing underneath them, right. that could be a sign. It's just like, it'll be like coated with black, you know, okay. like a mold, yeah. You, you said they lay a lot of eggs. Is that something we might see or find? Yeah, so their eggs are very difficult to find. You can see see there in that, um, in that box, there's some eggs laid on a piece of bark right there, and it's very oh, really? well camouflaged. Um, so they're very difficult to find. The females can lay about three what we call egg masses, which are groupings of eggs. And in each one of these egg masses, there's about 50 eggs. Okay. So every female can potentially lay 150 other spotted lanternfly. So if you see something like that, they could be on a tree, it could be on any other flat surface. Um, we've seen photos of them on like children's slides or playground equipment. 
um, you know, big 55 gallon metal drums, right. thing, any kind of flat surface they could potentially lay, lay their eggs on. So if we do, we ask people to scrape the eggs and you can use something we have here. Um, this is, we've developed a scraper card. Yeah. It's just a credit card sized piece of plastic, right. pretty firm, but they're pretty easy to scrape off. You know, you could just go, okay. go in, scrape the eggs off of whatever they're on. And then we don't want you to just leave the eggs on the ground or right. something like that because they could still potentially hatch out. But if you scrape it off into like a plastic bag or something, zip it up, throw it away. Um, and of course, if you ever see anything like this, we really would appreciate a report to the Department of Agriculture in Delaware, or if you're in Maryland, the Maryland Department of Agriculture. Let somebody know. Yeah, let somebody know. Environmental scientist Stephen House with the Department of Agriculture. Thank you so Great. much for some very important information. Things yeah, thank that you. we need to know.